Well, Toledo falling to the Kalamazoo Wings in the first ever outdoor game in the history of the ECHL. Let's head down quickly to ice level and join Scott Pollock. Scott? We're back at Fifth Third Field and we're joined by head coach Derek Malone. On cue, the, the weather held up all game and we've got the rain coming down now. It was a terrific night of hockey. Unfortunately, a late goal. Your thoughts on the game? Uh, first of all, an unbelievable event. Uh, it couldn't have been any better. The, the conditions, everything played uh, out unbelievably well. It's certainly a credit to the league. Uh, our staff were putting it together. Uh, you know, as far as the game, very disappointed in that in the loss. We certainly felt like we deserved a, at least a point in that. But you had a defensive zone breakdown, uh, something that would be very obvious and easy to see on uh, film. But when the game's that tight, it's going to come down to a play like that. We made the mistake. They capitalized. And uh, it was a good two points for them. And we'll regroup and come back on Tuesday. Yeah, and Derek, you had 11,222 people saw, saw this game, and I tell you what, at the end of the game here at ice level, it was really loud. What an event. I mean, I, I came out here early to address the crowd, like literally two hours before the game, and the concourse was already starting to fill up. So it's a credit to our fans. Um, I, I've said from the get-go, our fans are the best fans in the league. They could challenge rival anyone in all of hockey, and they sure uh, showed themselves tonight. It was awesome. Yeah, and, and when you think about it now, from a hockey standpoint, was the game what you expected it would be? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough to get anything offensively. I like the way we managed it. After the first period, I thought we managed the puck a lot better. Our best hockey was probably the last 25 minutes, the five minutes of the second, and then through the third period, and I thought we controlled the play. Um, but when it's tight like that, two very good goalies, it's going to come down to a mental mistake. We made the mental mistake and ended up in the back of our net. Yeah, and the last question, you hit on it for me there, there the play of the two goalies was, was pretty much the uh, it, it, where the game went all night. There were chances both goalies were strong. I think both teams managed their game very well, bought into what you had to do to be successful here. Be a little more simpler with the puck, uh, just move it forward when you can, try to play behind D's feet and things like that. So both teams, I thought, did a good job of that. Uh, and, and with the, the, and the goaltenders, it was expected. It was going to be a one-goal game. Unfortunately, we're in the bad end. Well, there'll be a road, road trip in between, and we'll be back here in a week for another outdoor game. Good luck. Thank you very much.